Hello guys, welcome to the, I guess, first official vlog of October. Um, obviously I did a little launch video, I'm not sure if that counts as video one. Maybe it should, I don't know. But this is the official first uh, actual hobby that's gonna be happening for October. And um, I've gotten a couple of box sets here in front of me, ready to rock and roll. And um, basically today is gonna be a construction day for me. So I'm gonna start building units that I need to paint for October and get my kind of thousand point force um, kind of built and ready to rock and roll. Now, I'm still not 100% sure what's going to be in my thousand point force. But I know that there is, of course, like every good orc army is gonna have a backbone of orc boys. So I think what I'm gonna do is decide on the orc boys and I'm built up uh, two squads of 20 of them. So I'm gonna get 40 orc boys built as the kind of first thing I'm going to do today. Uh, then I might move over to some of the more elite units. I know I'm gonna have some mega knobs for my war boss and just think that's gonna be awesome and stuff like that. Obviously I do have access to Beast Snagger Boys, and I don't want you guys thinking that I'm leaving Beast Snagger Boys out, but I will not be focusing on them for October. And the reason for that is, is I already have a fully painted uh, Beast Snagger Boys Orc Army. So there's, you know, 30 boys, there's six pigs, there's two kill, like, there's everything. There's a whole, every Beast Snagger model is in there, uh, fully painted and ready to go. Um, so for right now, those will not be the priority for October. Uh, like I said in the original video, it's going to be more of a generic orc army, the traditional style boys. I know I'm going to have squad death copters and um, that kind of bits and pieces. So a thousand points doesn't get you what you used to. So a few of the test lists that I've written out, I'm not massively like happy with. I would like to have more. Um, but I guess that's the, the price of, of playing orcs. You always want more. Um, so like I said, I'm going to begin by building up 40 boys and then um, yeah, see what that looks like. And see what the force looks like and then if I get some more time I'll decide what else to build so hopefully you enjoy the first vlog which is just going to be some gentle construction of works so yeah stick around and enjoy guys okay so the first thing that I did was of course started to get the two sergeants or two knobs nobles uh, the two leaders of the 20 man blocks built and ready for the tabletop so there is actually options in that kit to give you two different sculpts of a uh, leader so one has a power claw and a pistol and one has an ooge chop and then an open hand which i really like that pose really nice so i'm gonna soldier through and get both of those guys built before i then kind of get stuck into the uh, boys themselves and as you can see i do have 20 bases lined up in front of me ready to build the first squad and that was my initial inclination was to build them a squad at a time 20 boys and then 20 boys i soon realized that there was like i said very little options in the kit so you obviously get this option options for the two different uh no knobs in the kit and then you can either build one of the guys to have a rocket or to have a big shooter the other eight models in the box set there's only one way to build them and I even find it frustrating that if you don't want to build a big shooter or a rocket, there's no options to build him as a normal boy. So once I did see that there was, like I said, one sculpt for each of the uh, models um, with one single set of options, I thought it would be quicker for me just to build basically all of the number two orcs together. So four of him, then move on to number three, build four of him, four, four of him, and go on and so on and so forth. So as you can see that uh, it'll soon jump to, um, after I finish constructing the knobs, that is, it will jump to a larger pile of sprues in front of me and the number of bases on the desk will double. And that's me basically making the decision to uh, to do this. Um, I do have this, this thing where I can do any hobby project, any kind of size hobby project in, in one sitting without kind of stressing too much or without it bothering me. But I hate repetition. I know that's going to sound bizarre, but if I was to build all 20 from start to finish and then start and crack open another two boxes, that would absolutely do my head in. Whereas building on four boxes at the same time doesn't. I, I don't know why that is. I'm sure there's some psychological thing to it, um, but it works for me. So I decided to soldier through with that as a, as a concept um, and get that done. Uh, orcs have a, a well-known reputation in the uh, Warmer 40,000 kind of metasphere, if you will. Uh, and they have a, a kind of like an, a disease that goes with them or an infection. And we call it green fever. And green fever is the idea that if you open yourself up to an orc collection to, I'm going to start an orc army. I'm going to start a small orc army. There's never once in the history of mankind ever been a small orc army. It consumes you as a hobby collector. And before you know it, you're adding more and more units and more and more boys. And oh, I got to have this and I got to have that tank and I got this jet and I'll have some scenery and I'll have this. 
And before you know it, you have three, four thousand points. I think a very similar thing happens with Tyranids. Once you lock down a simple and achievable Tyranid scheme, you always go way over what you need. I've got more Tyranids now than I will ever play with. And you saw the collection of Orc boxes that I showed off on the uh, launch video for October. And it filled a six by four with box sets, huge box sets, huge, huge quantities of miniatures. And I didn't really intend to keep buying them. Whenever there was a nice box set out, I would just pick it up. I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'll need it at some stage. I know I want another Orc army. I did have a huge orc army uh, back in the day that I've since gotten rid of. How I got rid of it, I can't really remember if I gave it to somebody or it ended up in the bin, unfortunately. Um, but it was, a, it was a five battle wagon uh, orc army and I just filled them full of boys. One of them had a, a war boss, a Gazgul, and some knobs. Uh, and the other ones were just filled with boys. And I used to drive around like a lunatic, uh, firing out of the back of battle wagons with millions of boys and jumping out and fight. It was awesome. It was such a cool army, but... And back then I wasn't the best painter. Uh, don't feel like I did anything silly by getting rid of them. I much prefer the point I'm at now where I'm starting fresh with a new orc army with new sculpts. Um, this concept excites me a lot more than trying to go back and repair or fix up any of the old ones. Uh, I don't particularly like the old orc sculpts either to be honest with you. So as you can see at this point is the bit where I have uh, 38 orcs built. I built a knob for each squad and then that. But I didn't want to have two knobs in each squad, so I had to crack open a fresh box of 10 boys um, to build two generic orc boys to fill out the numbers a little bit, which was a little annoying, to be honest. I have a bit of a rant about it at the end, but uh, I don't have a double rant. So yeah, I just tried to pick two of my kind of enjoyable sculpts, but it does mean that in that squad, in those 40 boys, there will be five models the same twice do you know what i mean i could take out 10 orc boys and it'll only be two sculpts in it which is kind of annoying um and I, I do hope that when i paint them all and they're all kind of mix and match you won't notice it so much at least i'm hoping you don't notice it so much i guess the older orc boys weren't as kind of generic as i thought they were fairly simplistic models so a lot of them would have ended up looking the same so i had a little bit of time left at the end of the day after my 40 boys were done so i decided to build my second uh, batch of death copters uh, these are fantastic sculpts they are monoposed once again there's not a lot of options but as you can see there's three small sprues here each sprue is one solid death copter so once i remembered that um yeah you just cut one sprue at a time clean up all the parts it throws itself together and you get this phenomenal the new Death Copter sculpts are some of my favorite of the new Orc range, and I am definitely going to be including two squads of three of them in the army. Um, they are not uh, going to break the bank points-wise. Uh, they are very fast-moving. They have a, a fairly decent amount of firepower, if not the most accurate firepower, as Orcs are one to do. And um, So hopefully these things can be used to um, kind of harass the flanks or jump on some objectives or do something like that. They're also quite fun to paint, as I am... Um, I found with the first one that I painted, I'll be painting up two more on my stream this evening. So the stream will have come and gone by the time you've seen this video. But uh, just so you know, all of my Twitch streams for October, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Irish time to 10 p.m. will all be orc based. So if you're interested in that, please jump along. Okay, guys, so that was a quick one today with uh, getting some of the construction done for the first day of October. <clears throat> Like I said, if you haven't been paying attention, my goals for October are to get an entire Orc army, 1,000 points, 1,500 points, 1,000 uh, points minimum, but I would love to push it out and have a few extra units done. Um, so I've got some options in my 1,000 point games. Um, and then, of course, get an entire gaming table worth of Orc scenery done and uh, set up as well, ready for Season 2 of the Battle Reports to really kick off. So uh, that has been my goal for the day. As you can see, today has been a fairly successful day. There is a nice little force starting to take shape. The ones that are already painted are stuff that I've done videos for. So I did a video on a boy, the war boss in mega armor, Snickraw, the big huge Cromlech pirate um, orc, which of course I won't focus on him, but he's amazing. Look at that model. Oh my god. This is my Gazgul Thraka. Um, <clears throat> absolutely love this model. And there's some extra stuff from Cromlech on the way as well, so I don't know. Very excited for that. And I had done one uh, Def Copter already as part of a video. So, very happy with how that turned out. <clears throat> so in today's building, I built five more Death Copters. So they're all ready to recommend. I want two into three of them for some fast movement, objective grabbing, firing off missiles from the flanks. And of course, I got the, the core of my force built, which is two big blocks of 20 Orc Boys. Now, these kits are the new version of the Orc Boys, and they do have a little bit of a... 
they're a little bit annoying to be honest. Um, aesthetically, they are far superior. They're absolutely beautiful, but they're quite limited in their design. So you do not get a choice whether to give them a slugger or a pistol and a chopper. You do not get that choice. They're all mono pose orc miniatures. Uh, and I think you only get like four shooters in the 10 man box set. So I think or in a 20 man box, like two. So you don't get enough. So if even if you wanted to build a, t a squad of 20 with shooters, which is kind of what I was thinking about, I think you need like six or eight boxes of boys to kind of carve out enough of them with shooters. And then there'd be a lot of repetition in poses, which is very annoying. Yeah. And then also I wanted two squads of 20, but you get two knobs in there, obviously. And the knobs very much stand out with their huge big models in the squad. You can see they stand out a mile from the simple boys. Um, so I had to actually crack open another box of 10 and build two more generic boys so I didn't have to put two knobs in each squad, which is what I don't want to do. So that was a little annoying. So although they're absolutely beautiful, like how useful the older kit was where you could build all of them with shooters, all of them with slugger and chopper, knob, no knob, it didn't, like you could do all of that. And I'm, it's a really weird trade-off. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it because obviously orcs are one of those things where when you do an orc army, you tend to have... 60 80 100 boys and with only 10 poses that's gonna get real tiresome real fast so i don't know if i'll be doing any more of these boys right now um i've got a couple units of commandos to do i'm definitely gonna give one of these a battle wagon which is gonna be really cool the other one can hold objectives in my home base and then i'm really not sure what to do I'm got a squad of killer cans in my head but i'm not sure if i want to go for the games workshop killer cans there's so many beautiful scopes out there from the 3d print and add some real flair to it so potentially that potentially some crumb like ones or there's just so many nice like orc mechs out there and um, that i really want to kind of delve into and play around with and add to my collection so i'll have a, a shop around to find some nice killer cans and some nice death threads and then take it from there so I get to start painting on stream tonight. I'm gonna to get the uh, other two members of this Death Copter Squad uh, painted is my goal. So we'll see how that goes. And, but yeah, so far really enjoying October. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Make sure that you follow along, get some orc units done yourself. If you're enjoying it, make sure that you should give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see all of October stuff, you don't miss out or anything. And before I end the video, I just say a huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. Without you guys, I could not do these wacky challenges or days or keep the lights on or the cameras rolling. So. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you're interested in getting involved with that, check out the links in the description. Um, you get access to things like a private Discord server and an extra video every single week. So they'll be getting an extra four Orc videos this month for being members of my patrons. So that's pretty cool, I think. Okay, thanks for sticking around to the end of this lengthy talk. I'll see you guys in the next video.